Hello and welcome back to Saber Outdoors. Of course, my name is Mark Alexander, your wonderful host, and I have something to show you. I ha have something to review today. Something I have wanted for some time, but I didn't know where to find it, couldn't find it at the price that I could afford. So here I have the Abu Garcia Revo rocket. And this is the Revo 4 rocket. And look at that. 10 to 1, my guys. 10 to 1, that's crazy. Completely out of this world. So, uh, we've got some stuff on the side. Let's re read it. Bearings, 11. Sweet. Uh, gear ratio, 10 to 1. It's on the, on the box. Retrieve per turn. I don't know that I've ever seen that advertised on a box, but 10 to 1, it's probably a lot. 41 inches. So every time I turn, 41 inches comes in. Do you realize how long that is? That's almost three and a half feet. That's a lot of line. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. Um, as far as like right now, it's going to be my whopper plopper. Uh, buzz bait, spinner bait, rod. Like anything that I'm just gonna chuck and wind, this is gonna be my guy. But uh, max drag's 18 pounds, weight 7.34 ounces. That's not a lot. Mono capacity, 12 pounds, 145 yards. We're probably gonna put something a little heavier than 12. Excuse my hiccuping. Braid capacity, 30 pounds, 140 yards. Now, if we start fishing frogs with this, braid. We're doing the braid thing. But uh, but let's see if we can get it out of this box. Now, you may be wondering where I got this from. I got it from the store. The store is, uh, well, you're about to see it right here. Now, um, the store sells stuff second hand so this is stuff people have returned this is stuff that people didn't want didn't sell whatever they sell it for a discounted price now i can tell you what price it is but i'm a little embarrassed because it was a lot let's just say the price i paid was almost half of what this sells for retail and that's the beauty of the store. The store is a place where you can go and you can pick up stuff that cost way more. And you can pick up really unique things like, who, who would have thought that you would buy an Abu Garcia reel that is 10 to one ratio. There it is, 10 to one. 10 to one at a secondhand place. It's, it's the greatest place ever. You can't convince me otherwise. But, uh, but guys, look, it, the stuff still has the foam in it. Do you think this person, whoever it was that owned this, ever put it, any line on it or did anything with it? I think this was a, whoops, I bought something very much more expensive than I should have. And my wife caught me and made me give it back. So, is this paperwork in the top? No, there's no paperwork in the top. Okay, um, and the foam's underneath of it too. So it's a really not nice package. Is there paperwork under the foam? Yes, yes, there is paperwork under the foam. So we got warranty. Oh, cool. Look, now my non-mechanic friends won't appreciate this, but my mechanic friends will appreciate the fire out of this. It's an entire exploded uh, view of everything in this reel. So if you need to order a part for this reel, you can go to this guide, call Abu Garcia and say, I need part 90. I need part 90 for this reel. And they'll be like, cool, that'll cost you this much. Here's your stuff. Or if you go to clean this and you're like, I kind of got a pile of reel. I'm lost and I don't know what to do. This is what to do, because it shows you how to put everything together, shows you every single part. It's got a nice picture for every single part. Let me show you one more time. Really close. 
So guys, like that's the thing to do. But uh, let's see what the other paperwork is. Cause I, I was so blown away by that. So let's see here. We've got warranty information. I'm not gonna bore you with that. And it's in, it's in Spanish on the back. Looks like a owner's guide. I'm not sure what that is. We don't really need this because I don't re really need uh I don't really need to know the basics of this reel. I already know, know them and you will know them if you watch the basics on the baitcasters, which probably will come out before this video does. But guys, let's get our hands actually on the reel. So I can never get it worked around. So pretty nice, good, good big thick handles, drag clicks, the uh, tension knob clicks. Does this click? Yes, it does. Let's see what the inside looks like. Okay, it's got a swinging door. And uh, let me pull this out so you all can see. So the brakes on this, you can see the brakes are right there. And uh, you know, I'm not really overly swift on uh, on these brakes. I'm gonna have to do some research. So, uh, so I'm gonna put that back inside. Now, these are easy to take apart because you can see there's nothing in there. And on this side, you can see the magnetic brakes. These are centripetal brakes. So uh, I can't at least tell you that much, but I'm gonna have to look into this some more to figure out all the ins and outs. But uh, everything looks super clean. I've got this nice foam pad. I'm gonna use it to set that on. Oh, very nice. Now. I don't know about this reel, but I know some bait casters, you can upgrade the bearings on them. So as good as this cast, there's probably some aftermarket equipment that can make this cast better. But uh, we're gonna get this put back together. And it goes back together that fast. You can see smooth as can be. Okay, it, it's gonna take a minute to figure it out, but uh, I'm gonna loosen the drag all the way and I'm gonna loosen the tension knob a lot. I'm not gonna take it plumb off, but, and we'll undo do the brakes all the way. And it, let me tell you, that's just so nice. Worm gear looks good. The pawl, which is the part right here that works that worm gear. If you ever need to replace that, this looks like it will be relatively convenient. So guys, I am gonna put this on a rod, put re line on it. I'm gonna go film a different video with this reel and I'll continue my review after that. All right guys, so we've made it to, uh, to one of my local ponds that I like fishing. Now I have got this reel on a laser S HS speed stick. Now this is Walmart's uh, speed stick. Now, if you wanna see me actually setting this up, you can go to my basics video and I showed how to set any bait caster up. So if you wanna wa watch me setting this combo up, I do that all in almost all in one shot, doing it with uh, the basics video. So go watch that video if you wanna see me set this up. But for right now, this is the first time I'm actually gonna cast a lure with this. And uh, this is a seven foot medium heavy, yes, medium he heavy rod. And uh, I put 15 pound line on the, this reel. That's a nice middle of the road. Oh, that was a sweet cast. Now, this is such a high speed reel. I'm gonna have to really watch myself not to just burn it back. I feel like I am not moving this at all, and it's actually trucking right along. And it would really pleasure me a great deal if something just came up and wrecked it right away. What's wrong with this? Okay, we've got a little bit of, a little bit of vegetation. 
The lure I'm throwing is a Berkeley Chapo. Um, I've had this for a little while. I didn't buy this the same time I bought the reel. Because, uh, guys, I've already spent a lot of money on this, and uh, YouTube already doesn't pay me. So if you could, you know, hit that like button. Send me some com comments. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Because uh, this isn't cheap. This is this is encompassing over $250 worth of uh, worth of gear, you know, between uh, this and the lure and rod reel. This is not not a cheap setup. This is not a beginner setup for somebody that's just getting into the game. Um, retail, I believe this reel goes for about $325. I did not pay that at the store because it's the store and it's amazing. Now, you can see on the water there's a little bit of wind. Not a problem. We're just going to ease that along. We're going to see if anything's right close. This high speed reel is so nice for this, this Chapo. It doesn't feel heavy. I was concerned that maybe the gear ratio would be so much. It's kind of like starting your bike in the highest gear it has. I was afraid that maybe this would be really, it would really be lugging down, you know, my ability to reel, but no, it feels just fine. All right guys, so we are back at our pond and uh, it has rained and it is way cooler and quieter now. So I'm gonna show you a big difference between this setup and the 10 to one setup. So both the rods are seven feet long. I'm gonna put, I put the same bait on both. I'm gonna put that hook at the very bottom edge of this rod. So it's out there, that's where it is. I'm gonna reel this once. So that brought that lure up that far. Now this is seven to one reel. So I'm gonna grab this other rod that is also seven foot long, so I'm not, not cheating at all. So I'm gonna set that hook directly next to the end of this rod. I'm gonna click my thing, thing with my finger. And I'm gonna give it one reel. So one. That is how far this will do. Like that is crazy. That's probably that's up to the second eye on this rod. Like, I, if I could, if I took this chest mount off, I could show, show you. I literally can't show you in fr frame a good reference for how far that is. But, guys, I pulled the uh, clickbait off just so that I could show you that real quick. Like, I'm going to see what I can do. I do see a lot of activity. I think the rain fired them up, so uh, hopefully we can catch some fish. Did you hear that? I wonder why it does that. Oh, one came for right at the edge. Oh, we got it. Guys, that was cool. That was so cool, guys. Ah. Oh. And I only just barely had him stuck. He, he's off now. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Quit your flopping. Quit your flopping. <sighs> Quit your flopping. Ah, bless my thumb. All right, quit your flopping for a moment. There he is. Nice fish. Give him a kiss on, on top of the head like you should. See you, my guy. <laughs> that's pretty sweet i didn't think he'd come back for it, but i was like i have got to try again well that's that's one for the bait caster didn't really get a chance to see how good it was but we saw the rod did great all right guys we're back down down at the water's edge right here is our wake bait now that's going to make a ton of noise and look 
how pretty that is. This is a Long Creek Custom Wake Bait, and uh, it really pulls hard in the water. I want to see what this does under a really serious load. Of course, I can't put like a deep diving crankbait, but I feel like this is a good substitute because it doesn't pull as hard as a deep diver, but it's a lot harder than anything else that I've thrown on it so far. Throws good. Okay, that's livable. It's a little harder, but it's not impossible to reel. It's just, I thought, <laughs> I saw that heavy weight come up. I was like, oh, I'm about to get crushed. Anyways, um, it's not impossible to reel. Let's just come right out of that corner over. Oh, oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, God. <laughs> you want to come see? I got him, guys. I got him. And I've got an audience to come look. As soon as I get him off the line, yes, you can. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to hold him. If I can get him off the line. He got these hooks good. Uh, Boys? Okay. No, no. He's very much alive. But uh, I'm going to have to have pliers for this because these hooks ain't no joke. So. But he's going to die, isn't he? No, he'll be fine, fine for a few minutes. Okay. You touch him? Oh, right. Le leave him be, be until I get back, boys, okay? We can't touch him or pet him? Yeah, just leave him be, be until I get back. I want to get the hook, okay. hooks off. I don't want you all to get hooks in your hands. Okay. Because okay. that's all we need is an emergency room visit. Okay. Cause them hooks ain't no joke. That's why I told you to wait till I got back. He crushed that thing. I love fishing that corner. That corner always produces. I'm not exactly sure why, but it always produces. He looks scary. Exactly. I'm sure you all were scared whenever he's flopping around with these big hooks in him. No, you go again. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Will he bite me? So, look at his mouth. And there's not going to be no fun. This is like really, really rough sandpaper. He can't actually like break the skin or nothing. It's just scary. You, you're okay. And you just pinch him just like that. I'm going to let you have him. If he flops, let him go to the ground. How you feel? I'm scared. You feel? Yeah. You feel official? Yeah, feel official. 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 Oh, official. Official. Oh, <laughs> it's not scary. He's no. actually. No. Bryce, no, no, no. Bryce, he's actually. It's not scary. It's, it's just, not that bad. It, it just. Gotta try it. at least once. Gotta yeah. try it. It's not scary. I promise it, you. I put that on everything. It look, actually, look here. I'm I'm rubbing my hands on the fish. Right, I, here, I'll hold it's your not, hand. It's not. It's not that bad. Right there. You're you're good. There you go. Now just hold on to him. Hold it tight, cause he will. A little bit. All right, just hold him on there. See, it's not that bad, is it? No. Kind of nerve-wracking your first time, but not that bad. <laughs> you gonna get pictures? I'll tell you what, let me, let me clean my slimy hand. I'll take a picture of you too. All right. We'll see you another time. There he goes. Gone. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, we got another one in that same spot. <laughs> no, this is a different one. He's smaller. Oh, guys, that's two in a row. If that doesn't get you fired up, you just, you need to quit fishing. Oh, you're trying to get revenge on me. It won't work. All right, guys, give you another shot. We're not do you all want to throw it back though? Yes. How do I throw it back? Just like you throw anything back, lip him like you had him. Just uh -huh. like before. One thumb Nope, in. you better not bite me. See? See he's That's because I let loose of him just a little. Now just give him pitch in the water. 
My guy. And see, he took off before he even got full in the water. He gone. Okay. Good job, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Maybe I'll catch it. another one. He can throw it back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two in a row. Let's go for three, guys. Still has that little buzz, but we're still catching fish. Still has that buzzing noise whenever I throw it hard. I don't know if I like that. But you can hear it. It has that... After you use it for a little bit, it gains that uh, noise. All right, guys, we are back at the pond, and uh, I've got my little shoe booty jig that I used in my local tackle video. And uh, we're going to try it out. We're going to see see how it is. Oh, I just threw a massive bird's nest. I was about to tell you I turned some brakes off on the inside, the centrifugal brakes, to see if that uh, buzzing would go away. Well, it didn't buzz. It also didn't break. Nope buzzing still there not a break issue and this isn't a heavy bait either this is I believe memory serves half ounce oh you heard it big time there since I clearly don't have a break it's not a break issue I am gonna open this side up it's just you know all there is is just to flip it down flip and then work the uh, side plate over and we're gonna turn two brakes on shut it and see what it does does better I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn three of them on so All right, I got three brakes on, three brakes off. Boy, you can hear it now, but it still casts pretty fast. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, guys, and that's a nice fish. All oh, that shoe booty jigs feels so good. Mmm. Skin him. Oh, yeah, baby. Buzz or not, we still catching fish. There he is, guys. I'm awful glad to have him. He's like a pound and a half, maybe. We'll see you next time, my guy. Where's your mama? Get out of here, you. He had a piece of grass on him that I kissed. Well, that's cool. It's still buzzing. But it's good to see that we're catching fish, at least. Buzzes almost every cast now. Oh, there he is again. He come and got it. My guy. Guys, this shoe booty jig is doing some work. That is two in not that long a time, and he had it down his throat. My guy. Go back, go back, but don't tell them I'm here. And he'll swim out of them weeds, won't be a problem. All right, guys, so we're back. We have a Guggen Squad Zinger, and it is a 3 8. So uh, that's about as light as I think I will ever throw on this. So let's see how well it throws a 3 8 lure. I may have been throwing three eights, but you know, nothing else has it exactly written on it. So, throws it same as throws anything else. But boy, that pulls hard in the water. That pulls really hard in the water. Boy, that thing runs so slow. Oh, I think I might accidentally see a Pakistani outdoors. So I'm gonna go say hi. All right, we got Pakistani outdoorsman. He's uh, he's gonna give his 
he's gonna give it a try with the uh with the setup he's already backlashed it see it's a right-handed reel and i'm not used to them though i'm right-handed though first cast What are you checking for? The ratio? It's 10. 10, point, 10 to 1. I think the rappel is a bit too light for the kind of lure. Is that what you thought about it? I, I think the setup's okay, but I hate the real buzzes because it's not supposed to do that. What's the line? 15. 15 mono. It's, uh, it's over for this pole. That's what I think. Mean. It's what? Over. Over? Medium Says fast. 10 to 20. Medium heavy, fast. 10 to 20. It's heavy reeling, isn't it? It is. Because it it's like starting your bike in the very highest gear it has. But it's re it reels like super fast. Yeah. Like I'm not even reeling fast, and and it's going a million miles an hour, isn't it? And already the bait is at the surface. It just feels like you're slow rolling it, and you're actually reeling it pretty fast. Let me go throw throw a buzz bait on on it. And see what you think about that. And I'll bring you all back too. All right, we are buzz baiting, and uh, we're gonna see if Saroch likes this a little better with a buzz bait on it. I definitely like um, using with this reel some kind of lure that's top water. I used whopper plopper with it when I first got got it, and it was so sweet because you can motor that thing across. Well, that's when you can keep it steady. But like, if you were all at once to see a, a strike down the way, you can motor that dude in. Like there's a lot of things I like, but that buzzing it, it really worries me. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some research to see if I can fix that or if that's a common fault with these. Well, guys, I'm gonna reacquire my uh, setup from Pakistani Outdoorsman. He was very kind to be on the video today, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna keep living with this, and I'm gonna bring you along with us, guys. We're gonna go grab something to drink because it's uh. It's probably pushing 95 or more outside, and uh, we just soon not have to deal with that. All right, guys, we are back with our uh, with our Long Creek Custom Wake Bait. Let me tell you, this thing is a mean piece of equipment. You've already seen me catch two fish on this. Let's see if I can catch another. One. Oh, I'm on! I'm on, guys, and that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. I don't know what kind it is. That looks to be a bass. Skimming. That's a nice fish, guys. He's not quite as big as I thought he was. He's foul hooked. That's why he faked me out. Oh, oh, hello. Well. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Come back here, you. Hi right, guys, that's three fish on the Long Creek Custom Wake Bait. Let me tell you, if you're looking for some good baits, Long Creek Custom's a place to be. See you, my guy. Kaplunk. Oh, I got a nice and oh, he's gone, guys, guys. That's a heartbreaker. Oh, he come and got it right at the edge. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This wake bait. Guys, go over to Long Creek Customs. Tell them I sent you and tell them I am smashing fish on their wake bait. Come on, come on, quit flopping. Look at that. Look at that. Guys. Guys, come on. 
Can you get fired up for me? See ya. Can you get fired up for me? Because, man, am I fired up. Woo! Let me tell you. When you start catching fish on something you like throwing, because I like throwing the Long Creek Custom Wake Bait. There ain't nothing like it. All right, guys. So, made it back to the house. I have lived now with this for several hours and I have conclusions so guys um, reel works fine boy you can tell the difference whenever you uh, start reeling something heavy like this or a spinner bait or something like that man it's like reeling a brick through the water but guys it works you saw we caught a lot of fish a whole whole lot of fish now, this reel does have a problem. It squeals. Now, I don't know if that's why this reel was returned in the beginning, but that squeal's not gonna go away. That probably will get worse as time goes. And I don't know if that's a brake issue, a bearing issue. I just know, know it's not right. So, I'm probably gonna end up taking this back to the store. and. They set returns. I shouldn't have an issue with that whatsoever. So, uh, guys, go support the store. And also, let's talk about our star bait. Oh, my Jesus. The the uh, Long Creek Custom Wake Bait. My guy. Let me get you off here where I can show the folks. Look at it. How beautiful it is. Guys, I was smashing fish. You saw two days, two different days went out cast it out <coughs> at one point did two in a row because i love this bait this is a pond fishing bad mama jamma let me tell you something i love this it doesn't go too deep it is super loud like if i take it off this rod that's what it's doing all in the water that baby is loud now the rod, the loop, lose la laser high speed stick, great rod. Love this ro rod, gonna keep it, gonna fight people over it if they try and take it away from me. But guys, this reel has something wrong with it. I don't know what, because that squeal, I don't know, know what it is, but I feel like it will get worse with time. So I'm gonna take this back. That's not a knock on Abu Garcia. That's not a knock on the Revo Rocket. That's just this particular unit and my experience with it. Um, you saw we caught a lot of fish. There was no problem reeling. There was no pro problem. I still got good distance off of it. Although I did no notice when that buzzing happened, I got a little bit less. But that's plenty said about the reel the rod, the bait, and uh, I'm going to go ahead, ahead and end this off with the usual YouTube things. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Please hit that bell notification and subscribe. It costs you nothing and it helps me so much. We'll see you somewhere in the woods or on the water.